Hi, my name is Kabir Khan and I work on the Wi-Fi team. Today we're going to give a really quick introduction to a brand new tool called Wildfly Glow. In a nutshell, Glow inspects your deployment and can provision the minimal Wildfly server needed to run your application. This is especially important if you're running in the cloud because less server functionality means less disk usage and also less runtime memory is needed. And thus the costs of running in the cloud to rent the hardware becomes lower. Also, it means that there's less server configuration that you need to maintain, and there's a smaller attack surface as well. So next, we'll look at an example of how easy Glow is to use and how a server provisioned by Glow compares with other approaches to obtain a running server. If you like the video, please subscribe. There'll be more videos from the Wildfire team. And there are also links to the source code and everything else I mentioned in the description. Now let's look at the example. For this demo, we'll use a very simple Jakarta RESTful web services application, which has a CDI injected microprofile config property and a get method, which basically returns the value of this microprofile config property. So now there are a few ways we could get hold of a Wildfly server to put this application into. So we'll do this and compare the relative sizes. So the most obvious way to get hold of a Wildfly server is to download it from wildfly.org. And I've done this here already, so I unzipped it. So you can see this has the, the normal Wildfly structure. Um, when you download the zip, you basically get everything. Uh, you can trim the configuration and remove sort of runtime functionality, but actually removing modules, which in turn consume disk space is very hard because they're basically kind of all quite interwoven and there's no kind of overall view on what depends on what. So instead, what we do or have done for you is to split the whole server into layers called Galleon layers, which each have a small piece of functionality each. And then the Wildfire build assembles all these Galleon layers into, into the whole server. Um, however, we can use Galleon to have a smaller server if you know the layers you want. So this list of layers making up the server in the, in the description. So we need the Galleon CLI, which I've already downloaded. And we tell this to install Wildfly into the service Galleon folder. And looking in the list I mentioned, we found out that we need CDI, JAXRS, and microprofile config. And we want to base this on the cloud server base layer. So now if I run this tool, we will be doing some stuff. And we've got a server in, in service Gallium. However, the tricky thing here is that you kind of need to know the layers you want. So Glow gets around this by inspecting your deployment. So it basically looks at the deployment descriptors, class imports, annotations used, and things like this, and then figures out which layers your application actually needs. So again, this has its own CLI called Wildfire Glow. I'm going to tell it to scan. In this case, we want to provision a server into the service Glow directory, and we're inspecting the the wire from the example which I've already built using the Maven install. So now if you run this, we will see that it discovered the feature pack that we should use. So Galleon layers are grouped in feature packs, and it's discovered that we need the following layers. And this will then be output in the, in the service Glow folder. So now let's have a look at some measurements of the sizes of these resulting servers. So the first one we'll look at is the downloaded zip. So I have a little script which basically counts the number of module XMLs, i.e. JBoss modules, and the number of subsystems in the resulting configuration. In the download, you get one sort of default configuration. When provisioning with Galleon or Glow, you get a configuration that contains the subsystems 
that the layers that you show is already detected and kind of um, imply. So looking in the downloaded server, we basically find that we have 573 module XMLs and 34 subsystems. Looking in the Galleon provision server, we see we have 358 module XMLs, so that's already a big reduction, and five less subsystems. And then finally, looking in the Globe provision server, we see that we have 225 module XMLs, so this is like under half, and 16 subsystems found. So this is the minimum server that can run our application with the granularity of the Galleon layers that we have in the Wildfire build. So to prove that the smallest server can run, I won't bother trying with all of them, but the Glow one is the smallest. So now if we start the Glow server, we've got our application deployed. And now we can try to access the REST endpoint and it works. Okay, so this was a very quick introduction to Wildfly Glow. And it also supports more advanced usage, such as creating a Docker image with a provision server, setting up connections to databases and much more. Please see the documentation linked in the description for more information. And thank you for watching.